As the fellowship travels down the river Anduin, the time for them to decide if they will go east or west is fast approaching. The time of the fellowship is near the end. After arresting Lorien following Gandalf's fall in Moria, the Fellowship travels south on the River Anduin to Amaten in the Falls of Rogs. Once there, they have two choices in front of them. Do they turn east towards Mordor in hopes to destroy the One Ring, or do they follow Boromir and turn west to Gondor? Time is pressing, but they still have a little while. They agree to put the decision off until they reach Amaten and use their boats as long as possible. Along the way, they come to two massive stone statues of Isildur and Elendil, one on either side of the river, with their left hand stretched out in defiance to enemies that might attack Gondor from the north. This place was known as Argonath. After that, they come to a small beach to camp. The time has come to decide which way to go. Even after so much time, Frodo cannot make up his mind, so he leaves to go think by himself in solitude. After a short while, Boromir comes to him. At first, Boromir appears friendly and kind, but only after a short while, Frodo realizes what Boromir is trying to do. Boromir wants to take the ring for himself, not to keep, he says. By using the ring, Boromir claims he will be able to conquer Mordor. When Frodo refuses to lend Boromir the ring, Boromir leaps at Frodo to try to take it by force. Frodo quickly puts on the ring and disappears. After looking frantically for Frodo, Boromir slips on a rock and hits his head. When he gets up, he realizes what he had done and tries to apologize to Frodo. But Frodo was already far away. As soon as he put on the ring, he ran away to Amaten, the Hill of the Eye. When he reaches Amonhem, he can see events hundreds of miles away, in all directions. That is where he made up his mind. He, Frodo Baggins, would go to Mordor alone. By this time, the rest of the company was getting anxious. When Boromir returned, he only said that he had scared Frodo, who then put the ring on and disappeared about an hour ago. Suddenly, all the members of the Fellowship run off in search of Frodo. Aragorn sends Boromir after Merry and Pippin, and charges him to guard them at all costs. Then Aragorn starts after Sam, and quickly catches up to him. Sam and Aragorn keep going, but then Sam stops. Thinking about what Frodo would do, he turns around towards the boat where Frodo is making off. Sam gets into the boat, and the two of them make off together towards the eastern shore in Mordor. Meanwhile, Aragorn follows Frodo's tracks up to Amon Hen when he hears Boromir's horn. Suddenly, Aragorn races down the hill, but it is too late. He finds Boromir resting up against a tree, several arrows in his body, with twenty-some orcs dead at his feet. Before his death, Boromir admits to trying to take the ring from Frodo, and that orcs had taken Merry and Pippin. After that, Boromir dies. Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas place him with his sword and some of his fallen enemy's armor in a boat and send him down the river towards the waterfall. Realizing that Frodo is out of his hands, Aragorn sets off with Gimli and Legolas after the two captured hobbits, Merry and Pippin. Argonath and Amonhen were located around Nenhithowel a large lake situated just east of Rohan and west of the south portion of Emin Mule. Argonath was situated on the north end of Nenithuel. Built in the year 1340 of the Third Age, Argonath itself consisted of two giant statues on either side of the river Anduin, carved in the likeness of Isildur and Inari. However, we chose to make a model based off the popular 2001 film The Fellowship of the Ring. Instead of Isildur and Anarion, there are statues of Isildur and his father Elendil. Isildur on the left is holding an axe, 
accurate to the original book. The Ellen deal on the right is holding Narcia, Aragorn's future sword. Both of the statues have their left hands stretched out in defiance to enemies that might attack Gondor from the north. Traveling down the lake, the Fellowship came to Parth Galen and a small beach where they landed their boat. Southwest of the beach, about 4,000 feet or so, was a large hill, Almanhen, which is in Darien for Hill of the Eye. On top of Almanhen was the Seat of Seeing. Again, we base this part of the model off of the popular 2001 film, so the actual Seat of Seeing was omitted. When Frodo came to the Seat of Seeing, he saw visions of places hundreds of miles away, in every direction. From the misty mountains, to the plains of Rohan, to Minas Tirith, and even Barad-dur itself. A short while later, the fellowship would be broken, with Boromir's death, Frodo and Sam's departure, and the capture of Merry and Pippin. For our model, we tried to build it mainly using scenes from the popular film made in 2001, titled The Fellowship of the Ring. Although we did use chapters 9 and 10 from Book 2 in The Fellowship of the Ring, and material from Chapter 1 of Book 3 from The Two Towers as well. Sites in our model include a part of the River Anduin, Argonath, a cadence Nen Hithowel, Parth Galen, the Eastern Shore, and last but not least, Amon Hen and the Seat of Seen. For the portion of the River Anduin, just north of Argonath, we used blue bricks built on their side to make the water while for Ned hit the well, we use blue-colored plates. From the beach going into the water, the land steadily rises until you get to the seat of sea on Almahem. Our model is 35 inches long and 20 inches deep, covering approximately 675 square inches. Both statues that make up the Argonath are 10 and 3 quarter inches tall, while Almahem, at its highest point, stands about 6 and 1 quarter inches tall. We hope you like our model. If you'd like to see a short brick film with this model, please click on Frodo. If you'd like to visit our channel for more brick films and other movies, please click on Boromir. Thank you.